Hi there and welcome back. To Peter's Eternity 2 Dead Fire. We're investigating still about the plucked fruit. And uh, we want to wait until it's midnight. Until we go to the beach and find out what strange rituals happen there with the basket weaver Rongi and his crabs. Until then. We're exploring a bit and talking to people. We have a good three hours until midnight. And uh, we'll see if we can. I'll take care of this. We can get something. If we can uh, find something more out before we go to the beach. Let's go to the shrine and and see. There's the priestess of Ngati in here. Ngati uh, is the goddess of forgiveness, or um, forgetness rather. Amira's winds. This looks like a smaller, older version of the statue outside. The wood is smooth and mottled with water damage. Yeah, that's Ngati, an anglerfish with boobs. Uh, Nairi. This woman is young, but her serious manner makes her look much older. Her nose and ears are pierced in several places, and her mouth is twisted in a scowl. More outlanders. Are your masters so desperate that they send you to plunder a starving village? I think we got off on the wrong foot. Keep our forge dawn captain of the Defiant. For what do you say this? To impress me? You are no different from the last ones who came through. She shakes her head scowling. Outlanders conquer us with ink and paper packs as well as blades. But they conquer us all the same. So learn to fight or read the fine print, either will do. Our Ranga gave me the chance. She grits her teeth. Oh yeah, I've met your Ranga. He's a fool. Uanu. He collaborates with the bottom feeders who went to Pokokahara for Adra riches. I warned the Valians about Pokokahara, but why listen to the ignorant Huana girl? Now I remain. They are gone. Taken by the curse. Ah, oh, maybe she could be a nice ally. Valians are just some of the most skilled navigators in the world. They just don't they don't just go missing. Pokokahara was not for them. With Nagati's aid. The sea takes and gives in equal measure. I understand. She raises her fingers to her brow. The clouds surround Pokokahara. And in my dreams, they swallow us all. She looks at the statue next to her, her eyes bright with intensity. The island is cursed. Whoever lived to tell of it? She sighs deeply, her bony shoulders rising like a vulture's wings. <sighs> we tell these stories not because they happen just so. We tell them for what they mean. Our Rangosphere makes him too trusting. He believes the Valiant traders will protect us if they settle here and mine Pokokahara. She closes her eyes and shakes her head. So the villagers pour their sweat into the sand, building a trading post on a barren island. <laughs> yeah. Um, he seems confident. <laughs> And this would make us what? Another Neketaka? She spits and promptly wipes her mouth with the back of her a arm. A den for foreign traders to wallow in bathhouses while the Huana feed on trash. This would be the end of us. Her eyes burn against her plating skin. To Pokokahara, I say the best thing is to destroy it for the tribe. Her brow raises sharply as she studies your reaction. That's actually what we want to do. <laughs> when the Hadra is gone, the Valians will dig somewhere else leaving us to point our canoes toward more welcoming shores. How do you expect me to destroy Luminous Adra, though? Maybe you have a tip. If I knew, then I would go myself. Oh, interesting. Anything that is built can surely be destroyed, Akira. And the storms are proof of powerful magic at work. Dispel this magic, banish it, whatever needs doing. She brushes off her palms. Um, knock over an Adra pillar? I do enjoy a challenge. I hope so. And we did not speak of this, Akira. She nods, but her eyes are still narrowed in caution. Mm, 
Mm, you don't seem to think much of Ruano's leadership. He is our Ranga. My own great aunt looked into his soul and declared him such. Even as she says she, this, she hesitates, one hand clenching in a fist at her side. I must respect him. Even as he builds a village for our enemies. And, um... Have you tried reasoning with him? I mean, because reasoning is the thing no one does in these days and ages and times. Akira, I have, and so did Anna. She breaks off, looking down and frowning. That man who disappeared. That name is cast off. Forget I said it. Her words have a distant road sound to them. Yeah, I hear that Anna Haru also had problems with outsiders. She winces as you speak the name. One hand strays to the coral crescent pendant. She forces it back down, pinning her hand beneath her folded arms. Anaharu was a tribe's priest before me. And he was my father. Before he challenged Ruanu to a trial of waves. She sighs and takes hold of the pendant, gripping it in a tight fist. But he was cast off. We are forbidden to speak of him. So there we have the key to maybe reverse the society. Tell me about that trial of waves. When there is an argument between leaders that cannot be answered, we turn to Nagati. Two challengers risk violent currents, beasts from the deep, and waves that would dash them against the rocks. The winner, if there is one, has Nagati's favor. The loser, living or dead, is forgotten by Nagati and the tribe. A gaze turns downcast. Why did Anaharu challenge Ruano to a trial of waves, then? My father knew the traders are as dangerous as pirates and slavers, perhaps more, because they grow strong in Neketaka. Her mouth becomes a hard line, her eyes for a moment look distant and dead. So, when the expedition came, he begged Ruano to send them away and move the tribe to another island. Her knobby knuckles pale as she squeezes the pond on. Ruanu? He did not listen, and Anaharu was done talking. What does it mean to be cast off? It means the tribe must forget him. The Ranga divided his possessions among the other Mataru, and now we do not speak of him. Where, he, where is he? She swallows, still looking away. We must find him, I see. Anaharu goes to his next life, but forgotten, he goes to a different tribe. She hangs her head, and you are in the priestess of this tribe then? She nods, one finger brushing the crescent pendant at her neck. We worship the same gods as the foreigners, but sometimes with different names. This is Nagati, the trickster of the seas. She points to the wooden statue. It's as smooth as an old piece of driftwood, and the sun-bleached and water-stained patches suggest years of travel from one village to the next. The foreigners know her as Andra. To us? There is no difference. Yeah, it's foolishness, but still, yeah. Your father shouldn't have been cast off. Hmm. So. Watch and learn. What's in here? Just want to look into that to see if anything. Oh, yeah, that's. That's what we've already read, right? Hmm. It's oh, hour twenty-two. Maybe we can look at the beach now. Maybe we can look at the beach. Find Rongi. I mean, it's near midnight at least. Fast mode. There's them building houses. Could free the Lagofarth as well. There's a villager. Will you find Rongi here? Not yet. Well, it's not midnight. Ah, what else could we look at? To pass the time a little bit. To make sense of this 
So we could ask Himuihi again. But when they're all standing <laughs> under the roofs, come on, they were complaining that it rained, didn't rain, and now they are fleeing so from it. Here? The village is much too quiet. All right. Yeah, nothing much, nothing much. It's all okay. Quaro craftsman. Hmm. We have to do something. Just not entirely sure what. Statue depicts a voluptuous woman with the head of an anglerfish. The paint is thick as if freshly applied. So we've been at the shrine. There's the communal storage hut, the chieftain's hut, the cage. The trading post, the dock. Oh, there's waiting. Okay. Mm. Okay, then let's say we, we made good use of the time. It's hour 23. Evening, midnight. Resting is not allowed here, okay. Where can we rest then? Maybe here? Ah, okay, we, we can wait a little, okay. Oh, well, sometimes. Sharp eyes and keen ears. Let's wait then. The weather's most foul today. Hello, Mr. Rongi. For what do you follow me? Rongi keeps his hands at his sides, breathing heavily all the while. You seem awfully nervous. Something the matter? Did the weaver not soak his feet in the cool sand? Our village has troubles, Akira. I go here to set mine afloat on Ngadi's back. He not to indicate the peaceful lapping of waves. Come on, I can tell. I can tell you're up to if something. If you will not leave me alone, then I go. He raises his brows and studies you. All this you. noisy tarrying exposes us to hungry Lavufath. He begins the trek back to the village, glancing back once over the, his shoulder. I see your feet will not let you stay in one place. The neat face has the pale clip. Oh. I weave baskets in the after. Of course, all that I earn. Oh, we have. We have missed the opportunity of telling him that. Oh, come on, that cannot be. Yes. Hello. Whatever you need, I can help. He speaks with the false poise of someone who spends a lot of time practicing in front of the mirror. Yeah, Rongi stole the koiki, not Tamao. The dagger bobs in Mukumu's hand, his pinched glare hovering on Tamao. Kira, this is true? Why would Rongi do this? Um, I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Rongi gave up his words when he stole from the tribe. His voice is silenced to me. Uh, again. <sighs> Two traitors. But only one deserves death this day. Resolved, Mukumu nods to himself and presses his lips together. Without another word, he passes you some bottles and shells. And now...
Come on, you should let him explain. Is he still there? Is Rongi still there? Nope. That was it with Rongi. Well, trying to kill another man that way was just not a good idea. I got him killed all the while. Is he back at his baskets now? Probably not, eh? Back at his home? No? This guy is shouting a full voice. Let's see who lives in his home now, in the Kwara hut. Kwaru hut, I mean. Another mystery solved. And, uh... Another one dead. <laughs> this society is interesting. Hmm. Maybe we can say the chieftain here. Should not kill whatever you need. You must only ask. Well, farewell then, okay. So uh there's nothing more then. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see what we do in the next episode. Maybe go back to the original quest, the storms of Poko Kohara, and explore the surroundings. But maybe too we can uh buy something first well, we've got some money we have got something we've gotten some things and we'll see how it works hey portion of moderate healing yeah one of that could go to him as well have a great time until next time and happy gaming